I'll give it my all till I find you And give you my all when you're here When we find Then give you my all when you're here.
Well, all right. There we are. There we are. Just kind of fade that on out there. Okie doke. They get it. It did. All right. Cool. Nice. All right. So. Doing Nerdman stuff today, huh? Doing, doing Nerdman things. Partially because I'm doing other stuff right, at the moment, and uh, Nerdman's a really good way to just chill. So we're just gonna hang out with Nerdman. Let's see. Good old Nerdman. Howdy do, chat. Howdy do. I'm looking for uh, looking for the atypical handbook. I was gonna continue the um, Gallo Spire Survivors thing. That's what I was going to do. But then. <laughs> Oh, but then. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I need to put this here. Did I ever? Maybe I did. Uh, did I put that? Oh, wait. I think they said their, their regular one works again. So, so maybe Imager works? Maybe Imager works again. Okay, yeah, so the same thing. I wonder if it actually functions. Probably not. We'll see. I don't remember them actually giving any go-ahead on. Yeah, it looks like Imager's still borked, man. That sucks. Okay. <sighs> what the heck are those other ones that they have? Um... Let's see, there's Imager, and I know Giphy is for, Giphy is for animations. Is it Tenor? Something like that. Ah, uh, that's the GIF keyboard. Hosts like Imager. You know, I swear someone put a link to like good alternatives for Imager, but. 
I just don't remember what they are. Just do not for the life of me remember what they are. I mean, I guess Dropbox or something like that could work. I could probably use Google Photos. Let me see if that one works. Google Photos. Album. I'm gonna call it Nerd. Where's all my Nerdman stuff? Nerdman, uh, New Day, ATC, throw the logo in there. Okay, cool. Does this work? What if I edit this? No. Hmm. this. No. Heck. <laughs> how, do I, how do I get it to do the thing? Um... Doesn't do it. Okay. The old dot PNG trick don't work. I wish you could just upload a stupid image to your phone on New Day. Right? Just get in here and add add a thing. That'd be really handy. But I can't. People at one of the bookshops will know. Ping one of them real quick. Hey, what's going on, Chad? And then your phone randomly begins ringing. The screen says Mr. Marco. Dude, if my screen said Mr. Marco, I'd lose my mind. <laughs> he sits here at that he sits here at the top of my list. But I tell you, the guy just he he doesn't love nerd but any more. <laughs> totally kidding. Totally kidding. He's waiting for that day when Marco gives him a call and tells him, like, Hey, Nerdman, I found a place. He's in Puerto Rico just chilling, snorkeling. <laughs> I feel it. 
Uh, I need an alternative to imager. Need something that works for that kind of simplicity in sharing. Well, it needs to be an image host that can directly reference the image without a whole bunch of loopholes, like... You know, Photo Bucket might... I don't even know if it still exists. <laughs> Photo Bucket Inc. Ah, uh, it's, it's literally just paid pay to play. Dang. Heck. Well, so what, what happened was that Imager stopped taking requests from 5M, like completely. So if your request is being made through 5M in any way, they just shut it down instantly. So there's absolutely no way to put images like in game unless you stick it on like DeviantArt or something else. Which I've got my deviant art, but eh, I mean the gosh dang thing for it is it's a book, okay? Which I guess I don't care. I could just make I could make a gallery called Nerdman. And then just put it there, I guess. deviations to my gallery. Well, what if I just want to add stuff? Gosh dang it! Bob Saget! Okay, we'll play Nerdman. Here we go again. Back through the wondrous thing. Let's see. Uh, Throw the AC logo in there. Crap! No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> this is a really stupid idea. Don't do that. Um, okay. So I have this. And then... This gallery is empty. So I just have to add a deviation to the account in general? Where do I put it? Where do I put it? I just I want to upload a new thing. DeviantArt, I hate you so much. Stop it. Posts? No. Why, why does it hate me? Submit. Ah, deviation. Aha, there it is. I did it. Can I just add it straight to a thing? No, I guess I can't. All right, well, there's that. <laughs> I can sell Nerdman's logo. Absolutely not. It's mine. Get away, scum. You bottom feeders. Should be able to copy the image address.
Oh my god, that is... That's a... That's a thing. Oh my gosh. Send help. Send help. I had this working before with with the stuff. So if you just add .png, you can pretty much put anything in there that you want. Okay. <sighs> oh, that does work. <laughs> Okay. So I don't need the .png. I just need that. Got it. I found it. Did it. All right, well. <sighs> Everybody else is doing it some way, somehow. This is my way. So there's that. So I really want to do some fun and creative things with the way Nerdman does hiring for the company. But, you know. Oh, yes, hello. I wrote a book. Oh, uh, I'm sorry? I wrote a book. Oh, uh, most excellent. It's, yeah, it's a children's book. Oh, that sounds quite engaging. I need, uh, need help. I don't know how to. How do I publish it? What do I do now? Oh, well, I need, uh, I need you you could go through uh, brown back books uh, if you wish, or one of the other stores. Well, I called a store earlier, and they said that they don't publish them; they just distribute them after they've been published. Oh. And then they gave me some people to publish. Oh, uh, so if you're looking to self-publish it, you could go through. Um, uh, Mackenzie's uh, does does book publishing and printing. Um, uh, the the Kraut, uh, the the Kraut and Sons, uh, they also do uh, some some book publishing stuff. What or Brownback Books is a, an all-in-one. Uh, they publish and sell. Oh, so you said Brownback? Uh, yes. Okay, let's see. It's time for. Uh... Um, okay. Were there any, like, restrictions or anything? Do you, do you remember? Uh, no, not, um, not in particular. The only thing I've gotten so far is that it can't, it can only be a maximum of 20 pages. Alright. Do you know, like, what kind of, like, file or anything, like, I should have the book in or anything? Oh, uh, yes, I, I have the information for that. Well, if you'd like, I could email it over. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, let's see, I need to, um... You I can need find to me as your... Riley Fink. Find you? 
Oh, yes, that may, that may work better. Ooh. Oh, uh, there we go. Yep. Let's see. Well, I'll send you um. I send you one of uh, my my books for a, um, a template. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. It's... As such, I gotta find someone to illustrate my book now because I'm not a very good artist. <laughs> oh, oh, well, that's um, uh, that's understandable. It's, uh, it's tough. I feel like I can do like pretty well, like with a uh, paper and a pen. Oh. But if I try using my tablet or something like that's oh. Well, that's understandable. I haven't asked for that yet, but I also don't really practice at it, so yeah. Well, also understandable. Well, it takes a it takes a lot of practice. And a lot of time. Well uh, there's a there's a copy of um uh, the the new release edition of uh, of my book. Yeah, you know, I was looking through my apartment and I found a copy of your book you gave me forever ago. Oh. So I still do have it. Well, most wonderful. I, I'm looking at having a, uh, a re-release uh, with the the updated um, uh, the updated aesthetic and everything. Uh, you you'll see it in the files. Yeah. I like the way this is presented. Oh, I right, thank you. Wonderful. Okay, nice. Ooh. Next series. Oh yes, uh, there, that one's there's not some, out yet, is it? Uh, next in series. Have you released that one yet? Oh, I have not. Well, I, I still have to uh, finalize this one and then get it done. Um, I get it all squared away. Gotcha. Those look great, though. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you. All right. Well, thank you for the information. I'll oh. see how far I end up going with this. I was just bored and was like, I'm gonna write a children's book. <laughs> well, it's a, a, a nice, um, a nice thing to do. Yeah. It's probably well, something to occupy the mind. Oh, well, what secret? It's about Maxine. Oh. Yeah. But anyway, hopefully I'll do it. If not, then I'll, I'll just tell you about it. You know, I like to YouTube. Oh, uh, very good. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jer Bear. Uh, absolutely. Uh, if you should need uh, transportation or anything, uh, don't hesitate to call. Of course. Thank you. Uh, best wishes. Uh, with with your book endeavors. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Uh, we have um, uh, we we had a renovation done at the atypical lot. Uh, if you would like to come oh. and visit. Is it down at the airport store? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna come down right this moment, but maybe maybe later. I'll see if uh, you're around certainly. still. Okay. Uh, have a have a good uh, good evening. You too, thank you. Good night. Bye. Good night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, the Nerdman way. The uh, my ear. Quit it, ear. Stop being itchy. I swear there's like a hair that's just getting pushed into my ear by my headphones. And that is a, a special... 
a special level of no thank you. I don't need this anymore. No yellow pages ad for me. Let's see. Galaxy's open. Unfortunately, there's no place that's good that's open consistently these days. You can barely get a barely get a place to open up, much less you know be a halfway decent place to go. Dude, I swear, I see that Bex Lawson person at every single place in the game. Every single one. In the city. Don't worry, I just have 15 jobs and I work them all once a month for like an hour. It's great. Maybe two hours if I feel like blessing them with my presence for, you know, some weird reason. <laughs> GTA RP is freaking weird. Like, really freaking weird. I don't quite understand it. It's just a really strange thing. If I had if I had any kind of design control over a server, I would limit people to literally one or two jobs. That's it, right? Like I would have an hour tracker within the job system that would make sure that the owners of the companies could tell how many hours people were logging in their respective jobs. But also, I would make the jobs more engaging and interesting than just, you know, sit around and do nothing because you can, while raking in hundreds of bajillions of dollars because you can. Be one of those things where you need to work, you need to do things are interesting or engaging with your job in order to be paid and do stuff. Add, add a little bit of skill-based what have you to it. So that if, you know, if people have, you know, uh, we'll say food and like some sort of a, a food place, right? Any, any kind of a food place you get, oh, I'll say, your, uh, your mediocre chefs out there who just kind of lazily go through it gives out poor quality. Well, when you hand out poor quality to NPCs, they pay you poor quality you know, kickbacks. Whereas you hand out good high quality stuff, you get the high quality kickbacks. That kind of thing. The lower quality doesn't last as long. Maybe even lasts longer, but is just, you know, worse. Has lower, you know, uh, lower satiety, so that you need to eat more bad food in order to, to do things. Uh, to get full and whatnot. Just little things that would make a world of difference so that people aren't just doing 
garbage. That's one way to go about handling all that. There's better ways. That one honestly is kind of mediocre. There's genuinely a lot of different ways that someone could go about. Kind of setting it up so that they are not able to manipulate you know, fellow players and, and whatnot. Like making the quality, I guess. Like if you're going with the quality route, you could make it so that the quality is, you know, client facing. So it tells you when someone's making garbage. That way your people know, your customers know when people are putting out really terrible quality food. Which, it opens up more roleplay avenues. Right? Someone's consistently serving garbage. Maybe they need to be fired. Maybe they need to be reprimanded. Maybe people just don't go there as often. You know, changes the dynamics of a server. Could be someone's intentionally bad at making food and it has an effect on their life and what they're doing. There's a lot of possible things you could do. Let's see. I'm gonna roll up by Galaxy and see if Nerdman can maybe you know, drum up some work. Did I miss the green? I might have missed the green. I was distracted by my phone. Had an alarm go off and I'm like, no, stop it. I've only ever had that happen once. <laughs> I've only ever had that happen once IRL. Where you just sit there and you're like, huh. You know, you get, you get thinking about something, and <laughs> next thing you know, you're like, ah, crap, it was green. I missed it. Yeah. It's such a, an almost impossible thing to have happen, because you usually have somebody behind you, but there are those days where just, like, nobody's out. You're just chilling. You get lost in thought, and then next thing you know, you're just like, oh, well, there goes, there goes that. Sit there for another minute and a half, two minutes. Let's swing up to the fuel station. Let's see what we can get there.
if I could get an entire game server full of people that are nerdman-like, I could have some pretty wild roleplay experiences. Obviously, I'm not saying, you know, a whole server full of nerdmans. No. Uh, what I'm saying is, an entire server of people that have, you know, I guess the wherewithal to run a character in a very nerdman-like fashion. People that can commit to a story and just, you know, sit in one like location doing almost nothing for a while. Or, you know, distracting themselves by doing something else at their station while they're they're doing role play things. Who drive within the confines of whatever is set by the server, you know, 45 miles an hour. Uh, 45 miles an hour, you know, respect your reds. At least, you know, treat it like a four-way stop kind of thing. You know, come to a quick stop, then keep going, whatever. That's fine, if that's what people want to do. The big issue that I have is that nobody even follows basic road rules. Like, the, the speed limit in the city is like 45 miles an hour. That's more than fast enough that even if you're, you know, very briefly stop and go at a red light, you get to where you're going at a really quick pace. You know, I'm not looking for people to drive like Nerdman. Not at all, honestly. Because if everybody drove just like Nerdman, Nerdman wouldn't be the wonderful little specialty that he is. But at least somewhat following the road rules. You know, even if it's just like minor speeding, you know, like some people go... 40 or 50 miles an hour. Okay, cool. Rather than 150 miles an hour or 230 miles an hour blazing through town at speeds that would break a man's neck. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, hit, you hit one pothole going 150. Good luck. <laughs> like, good luck, bud. You you have one pothole or like a really bad bump in the road and you are disappearing. You're gone. Just enough. Gems of the City tour. I don't want that either. I want the preset, and I want... Um... Typical chauffeur. There we go. I'm gonna have this be the on duty one. Uh, ATC.
There we go. Nerdman, then I need New Day, then I need ATC, then I need this. Okay. Um, I need Photo Blop. You know, I have had so many people who just do not. come back <laughs> after I recruit them or something or, or, or get them interested in a typical chauffeur and more like serious endeavors kind of make it known to people that you know ATC is not just a throwaway company it's not just another job to do because you're bored it's a you know like a decently serious experience And people don't like that. They're like, ew, bro. We have to do something? Yes, you have to do something other than sit around and, you know, finger your brain through your nostril. So three two. Hey, oh yeah, you are a cab. Okay, just wanted to check. Oh, I'm. Um, uh, yes, uh, more or less. Oh yeah, you're a cab. You son of a. What'd you call me? I swear on me, mom. Frickin' ruin somebody. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I hate it. I hate it here. <laughs> I freaking hate it here. Gosh dang it. Uh things. Are you a cab? No, I'm a private driving company who's been reduced to a cab. Because... <laughs> reasons? Garbage? I'm not angry, you're angry. You can't prove it.
Oh, mate. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, how are you? Not bad, not bad. First time seeing a taxi in this state. Well, we're, um, uh, so a typical chauffeur is actually a private driving company. Uh, but when there's no um, taxi services available, uh, we provide a, uh, a free taxi servicing uh, to those in need. Oh, are you Jeremy then, I'm guessing? Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, I am the owner of a typical chauffeur. Oh, cool. Oh, I, I thank you. Oh, has, has the the club been um, uh, busy this evening? Uh, well, hit and miss. It's normally everyone likes watching a court case, so most probably everyone's down by that. But we've had a couple of people come in. Which is all right. At least right. some people get to enjoy themselves. Well, you would think that uh, it would be um, uh, more interesting, uh, kind of being here, I suppose. Yeah. How's the taxi business? Well, sh sorry, chauffeur business keeping you. Have you been busy today, or is it? Did you just clock on? I uh, really just uh, I just clocked on. I've been busy uh, uh, back at the office. Oh, nice. Well, but beyond that, it's um, it's quite nice. Uh, sort of make your own hours, do your own thing. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Well, it All keeps right, it well, nice and enjoyable. Yeah. I just thought I might come over here and talk to you. I'm going to go back and stand by the door. Oh, absolutely. You have a good one, mate. Oh, yes. Uh, you as well. Not bad, and yourself? Oh, I am doing quite all right. Uh, thanks for asking. Good to hear. Uh, you must be Jeremy, correct? Uh, yes. Pleasure to meet you, Jeremy. Uh, Percival. Percival Phoenix. So you can call me Percy if that's easier for you. Uh, uh, pleasure to meet you, sir. Pleasure to meet you as well. Um, is it okay if I call you Mr. Jeremy from time to time? I kind of like, you know, using honorifics from now and then. Oh, uh, if you wish. Perfect. Well, Mr. Jeremy, I heard you wanted to advertise your taxi company out here to Galaxy, right? Oh, um, uh, n not specifically, but, um, uh, we're a uh, private driving company. Uh, so we, we really work more one-on-one -on -one with clients, although we do offer uh, taxi-style servicing uh, mm -hmm. to businesses as needed, uh, like for uh, for the Yellow Jack, I, I do, um, uh, they, they hired our company for uh, kind of a designated driver service for their Tequila Taco Tuesdays. All right, right. Um, I've heard of your company as well. I believe I have a friend, uh, Mr. Atticus Baxter, if you've heard of him. Oh, I yes, believe he's actually He actually works for your company, does he not? Uh, he, he is uh, in process, uh, yes. Yes, so... Um, I've heard much about, so I've heard a little bit about the company. I'm perfectly, perfectly okay with you, you know, advertising or, you know, in front of the galaxy, if that's what you wish. I have no qualms against it. I just wanted to tell you face to face instead of telling my, uh, you know, bouncers to let you know. I, I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly okay with this. If you want to advertise, they'll put up some posters, uh, make a, you know, post about it on social media. I say go right ahead. Okay. Oh, well, I 
Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Of course. And you know, I am one of the managers here, so if anything ever comes up, here's my contact information. Feel free to reach out and let me know. Oh, uh, yes indeed. Uh, here, uh, if you should. Uh, well, if you should need any transportation uh, servicing. I will uh, keep that in mind. Of uh, course. This is just our, uh, our oh, um, uh, single service tablet. vehicle or a taxi service vehicle. But it is uh, not a direct representation of the company. Of course, perfectly fine. But like I said, if you want to, you know, advertise or anything, you know, promote your company here, I say go right ahead. You'll have no, you know, uh, hesitation or doubts from myself, okay? Oh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, much appreciated. Of course. Is there anything else you require on my end to help you with this, or do you think you can handle the advertising? Oh, no, I I'm sure that uh, it could be handled. Uh, still working on some of the... Um... Uh, I guess you could say like the the finer things, you know, putting up a QR code for the website. Yes. And, uh, things like that. I still need the website part. Uh, so. Perfect. If you need anything, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Okay. Oh, uh, very good. Uh, I'll be maybe sure even you for you know, point. yeah, even maybe for potential partnerships in the future as well. We do have some drunk individuals from time to time, which personally, I don't think they should be driving, but they tell me otherwise, and I can't really control them at the end of the day. I oh, think your absolutely. company would help them a lot. Well, it could be quite helpful, uh, especially if offered as a service uh, through the, mm -hmm. the, uh, the Galaxy for uh, specifically events and things. I, I know I, I know that you wouldn't want to do it for every opening necessarily, but... Um, right. I will depends. keep that in mind, and I will bring it up with the management team. How's that sound? Uh, absolutely. Uh, we, do, we do offer a, um, a kind of a reduced rate for... Mm -hmm. uh, events and things. Well, normally, it's uh, five thousand uh, for for a two hour span. Okay. Uh, but for businesses, we offer two thousand five hundred for recurring events. Well, so if you were to, uh, well, I say have uh, like a weekly event that you would like us to appear at, well, it would be two thousand five hundred dollars per event, uh, plus an extra five hundred for each reserved operator. Sounds good. Uh, tell you what, I will reach out to you when I to people my managers and they're interested, because if they are interested, which they might be, if I'm being fully honest with you, oh, um, yeah. there are definitely more logistics that we would have to go through. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, and also, you would have uh, full access to the entire fleet. And uh, during our time uh, at your event, we do offer style matching services for the operators oh, and uh, okay. that sort of thing. Uh, so, uh, if needed, uh, the operators could be styled to kind of meet with your uh, uh, company image, uh, as well as the, the vehicles. Uh, if, uh, if you're looking for more of a full-time vehicle uh, situation, something that's uh, directly uh, set up for the company, uh, we, we would acquire that and keep it as a, a Galaxy exclusive. Sounds good. Well, I will keep in touch to you about that, Mr. Jeremy. Um, but thank you for letting me know. And honestly, I hope for only the best of success with the uh, show for a company. Okay? Uh, thank you. Uh, the same for the, the uh, nightclub. Uh, like galaxy. Yeah, the yes. galaxy. Perfect. Uh, yes, well, indeed. it was a pl pleasure talking to you, Mr. Jeremy. I will uh, keep pleasure. in touch, yeah? Uh, I certainly will. Uh, have All right. A, have a wonderful evening. Have a safe night. Uh, thank you. Everything is, uh... All right, cool. So there's that. Ah, uh, let's see. Text here. Uh. Uh. With him. Do I have the old Bebas new? Please tell me I have Bebas new. I do, I have Bebas new. Wonderful, wonderful. So good. Thank, Thank you.
trying to make a logistics map for um, Benny's. Erdman's got a little contract thing coming up with Benny's. And I want to, I want to build like a nice little map that shows, you know, how, um, oh, how shall I say, uh, how everything is set to work, like how it's going to all play out, how it's going to pan out as far as travel times and then let them kind of make up their own mind just how they want to set things up. Uh, this is going to be... Okay. And then I want this to be... right up under there. Perfect. You know, let's get this over here. That's fun. So... I have a brush. And the brush is going to be logistics lines, thank you. And then this is going to be the map. I guess I could share what I'm doing. Uh, let's see if I can cap her. Cap her, cap her dish, cap her. Capper dish. Okay. I'm a capper dish. Is that? Okay, well, I'll be back. Shave this real quick. Stick this in the old Benny's Motorworks thing there. Yeah. Shave it up, bud. Then I'm going to close it. Then I'm going to close the whole heckin' program because the program has just shot itself in the foot. No idea what Photoshop was doing there. It's just lost its gosh dang mind. <clears throat> I need to put a little, like, window capture doohickey there. So it, uh... Does that... Why is it not showing on there, though? Because, like, what the heck, man? Uh... Hall? Is there another thing that I need to... It's just, apparently I can't do that, so it's, it's confused. It just doesn't know how to do it. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> what the heck, man? Well. That sucks. I wonder how people actually capture that. Uh, 
Oh, it's because it doesn't... Okay. Never mind, I figured it out. I got a big brain. Uh, what it was, was it was using a different capture type, which apparently wasn't compatible with... with all that. So... I'm going to put a little dot... Uh, like right over here. I also need to change the brush. Heck. Uh, let's go general brush. Let's go the hard round. Thank you. is a history brush. Claire? Brother, I just want... I just want a gosh dang brush that's green. What in the name of stupid have you done? Oop. Little green dot. This gets text right here. We're gonna switch to, uh, nope. Just gonna go with white text here. And this is going to be, oh my god. That's, uh, that's a wee bit large there. So let's not do that, huh? Let's, let's not. Uh, 15 is fine there. But I want it to be, God, how hideous is that? Dude, let's go. <laughs> that is awful. No thanks. I just need a very simple... Could go with like an aerial, rounded... Nah. Nope. You know that Berlin Sands? That ain't bad. That's not too bad. So, okay. All right, so we're going to put this in uh, yellow. This is going to be route one. And Route 1 is going to go like this. this over to here. I'm going to come up and go this way. Straight up this. Uh, hold on. Wait a minute, because we need to go right down here. And then it needs to arc here. It needs to come in and across. And then this is actually the gate there. So we're needing to go... That was a lot. Okay. So then we're going to be able to go like right across this back line here. And up.
Uh, and then I need an end color. Hmm. I think Benny's is like a teal, isn't it? It's kind of like a tealish color. So I'll go with Benny's. event and since I'm on the legend scale let me just grab this orange I'll throw that like right there cool good deal start point this is going to be uh, root one I just need need this here. Eh. Let's go like right there. First, drop that down to a thirteen. But also, then. <sighs> Ooh. No, that's a little too samey. Something a little sharper. I feel like. Uh, this one is how long? Where's my Jeremy notes? I didn't put it in here, right? No, I didn't. Jeremy notes. There they are. Okay. Um, okay, two minutes, 55 seconds, huh? Second one is five minutes thirty seconds. <laughs> Round trip. Okay, cool. Well, that's the wrong one. Um Lines. Let's get here. Okie doke. Let me take this right here. And then I can just go all the way over here. Nope. Nope. Up here. Hee 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 hee.
Okay, so we have a bit of a stop here that needs to happen right before we get into this place. So I'm going to put a little, like, pause thing here. So we got this. Now we're gonna go out and around here. Like this. Then, because of what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to get like a small turn around here to go this way. Or wait no. No, I don't. I need I can just swing it a little bit wide here. And then I can roll this way. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Probably make do with a three pixel here. We have four pixel, maybe? Oh, yeah. But then, uh, let's see. Yeah, so that'd be that'd be the routing there. Oh yeah, and then you have the the pause there. Let's see. Grab this, and then this is a pause. Route pause. There we go. Cool. Now I can just like export that real quick. Quick export as a pinge. That should go right where I want it to. Yeah. End it up. Be That's all done. Should be good to go on that. Uh, new day. Nope. And then just leave it to me to like massively overdo it for no reason. Uh, 
out. Let's see. Email. Uh, to. This is. Um, from. Jeremy. Erdman. <clears throat> or from Jeremy. Hello, Mr. Barry. Uh, here is the. Rework the data as needed. Okay. <clears throat> Stinking yogurt ball, man. It's all creaky and stuff. Photoshop. Quick save, close that, and we're good. No more photoshops. We did it. Okay, well, on to the next thing I gotta do. Writing a play by post for one of my players. Fun stuff, fun stuff. It's good times. Uh, let's see, eventually the man speaks. What that was. What was that? Hold on. I gotta look up my creature. <laughs> Send help.
just did a creature reveal for one of my players. Always fun to get that kind of stuff. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Battle mappers. What does this get me? One click installation of the VTT. Access to all features shown in the videos includes all battle maps, scenery, handouts, and trivias. All videos are available with web optimized by gun files. Web optimized by P files. Meals for the prepper foundry. Show, change, show, change, change, plant, and foundry. GM navigation control. New Linne subscription. No extra cost. Long as you support this too. It's privileges. What the heck is that? Looking up some convenience stuff. Oh, it's a cloud services. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Something like how many, how many posters they got, but 60? Oh, okay. Well, that's heckin' cool. Man, I'm gonna have to get into some of this. Wee! <laughs> Zoom! Wee! Dude, I was thinking about picking up one of those really cheap electrics for Nerdman for the company. That way I didn't have to sit and listen to this gosh dang rattler constantly. Get like a nice sleek little modern uh, electric to roll around in. To do. Okay, what do we got here? Don't do stuff. Don't waste time doing this. Yes. So the 2D flat map versions are all free anyways. That's funny. But if you want the cool animated ones, you got to pay that extra moolah. I like cool animated things. It does not specifically state about... Uh, you know... All that. Uh, let's see.
guess that's like a send him a question and ask kind of thing. But considering I'm using it all for personal, I wouldn't be streaming it. Why do I care? I'm looking at a set of battle maps to keep you in the loop, chat. That I can use that are very generic. Like there, It's a bunch of stuff like, there's a witch's... Which is uh, hut in a swamp, or uh, you know, dilapidated ruins in the middle of a snowy area, or blah blah blah, blah. whole bunch of that kind of stuff, and you know, it's just stuff you can chuck into a random story or any story anywhere, so long as it's you know kind of fantasy or whatnot. They also have you know some sci-fi ships and other things that they've got as well, but. It's really cool stuff, and I just wanna wanna maybe grab that. No, I don't want to upgrade right now. Leave me alone. I just want to join so that I can be a part of your really cool community. And I will upgrade in due time. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I do not wish to be assaulted by you. Leave me be. Demons! Yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is the usual nerdman thing. I'm sitting here talking to myself, just, you know and me and uh, Nerdman is sitting there thinking about me talking to myself being me that's pretty much the gist of it huh Trying to put together exactly what I need for <sighs> for Voyagers and to get the 1.0 launch going. It's tough. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Here. Excellent. Cool. Uh, dun, 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 Right now I'm putting together an equipment list. Giant heckin' equipment list.
So I need damage type. Damage types. Damage types. That's the one. I need those to be wrong. Wowie. Very wrong. That's fine. <laughs> I, I did not think that was uh, the thing, but you know what? Apparently it is. Cool. Uh, damage type, uh, damage multipliers. So if I do like a short sword. Man, I'm going to have to copy a really big heckin' list. I guess I could. Uh, do, 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 do. Stand here with an umbrella now. Fun. Let's see what we can do. Beautiful, that's what I wanted. See, this is what this is what like AIs are really great for, is you can just rather than having to compile everything in a really crappy way and just go and you know dig through, you know, five hundred things to compile a list of, you know, forty to fifty good commonly used blades, you can just be like, oh hey, can you compile me a list of but, you know, 50, 60, 100, 1,000, you know, whatever absurd number you want to go to, depending on who you are. Um, you could ask an AI and be like, hey, can you compile this list for me of, you know, 
And, and give it some specific parameters of like, you know, give me give me commonly used swords or commonly used armors or blah 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 blah. blah. Some of these things are just really out there. Some of these are great, though. I, I did it just now. I'm like, hey. Hey. Are you? Hey. Make me a list. Hey, by the way, can you put that list in a way that I can copy it into a spreadsheet? I got you both. Here we go. No. <laughs> and away it goes. That's so nice. Thanks. This is it. This is us being exciting on Nerdman right now. At least until I can get on a different server. One thing I notice is that regardless of me being on a server, nobody interacts with Nerdman on here. I get on a better show you better, you better watch out. Oh, boy. It's gonna be so good. Actually accepted. funny i made this document back before there was alternating color stylings for this that's absolutely hysterical bud yep you bet oops uh, you need this Oh, look how beautiful it is. You can't see it, but that's okay. <laughs> you don't need to see it. Do-do-do-do-do-do. I guess people did pierce with katanas as well.
I guess I should order these. So that's really not for slashing, that's for cleaving. Cleaver, cleaver, cleaver. Well, falcons. Falcons are, uh. Those are really kind of more of a cleaving weapon. I mean, they can slash, but those things. Uh. Those got. Those have really nice cleaving potential, huh? They got nice cleaving potential. Some of them give me the cleaving. Technically, you could still stab somebody with a falchion, but I mean. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? If you're stabbing somebody with a falchion, you are doing it wrong. That big old hacker. God bless. Then falchions are, or scimitars are much the same way. Well, no, because. Scimitars are... They're a lot more slashy, and I guess you're, they're kind of stabby. I guess. I guess. I'm kind of stabby. Kopesh. The Kopesh has that uh, that nice cleaving ability. Not really so much with the stabbing. It's like cleaving and slashing. Uh, machetes. Machetes are more cleavers. Am I really gonna put the Nagamaki in the sword category? Ooh, that's like, oh man, that's tough. Cause that's like a full size, that's like a full size heckin' gosh dang polearm, man. At least depending. Because you, I mean. Nah, I think I'd put those under... But they're so light, though. Like, the, the length of the handle and everything is really just for bracing. I guess it's kind of considered like a two-handed sword that could also work one-handed. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. That's fine. Still more of a slashing, piercing sort. Okay, so the Naganata, I know that one's specifically a long arms. So that, that is, that ain't gonna fly. That does not go here. Sorry, you've been voted off the island. Goodbye. The Odachi? No, dude. <laughs> Those things are insane. Those are, uh... <laughs> Those are horse choppers, dude. I guess, well, they're not exactly horse choppers. Horse choppers are like a, an, a massively oversized executioner's blade. 
a giant square monstrosity that you can just cleave halfway through a horse with. Those things are nuts. Uh, those are still, you know, whatever. You can cleave them. Technically, you can cleave slash and you can pierce with that. I don't know why you'd want to... <laughs> I don't know why you would ever, 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 ever want to stab with the Odachi. Unless, I mean... <sighs> you know... Uh, hold on, I already had the rapier. Yeah. Didn't I? Yeah, I already had the rapier. Yeah. Get out of here. No doubles. Get out. Uh, this is a slasher. It's a slasher right there, bud. Itachi? Nothing? Thinking you know, how beautiful and, and nice you are, how, how sweet your voice is. And... Great! Who said that? I love Morena! My ex was blood! I'm sleeping now! I didn't add the broadsword. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, you know what? That was strange. I guess I didn't need that. Uh. I do need another column or two though, because I need. Well, I've ruined everything. People are so ignorant. <laughs> Look at them body blocking. They're like, no, no NPCs allowed. Get out. You filthy scum. Huh? Do it. Murder them. Murder the NPCs. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> just, just sit here as Nerdman, widen his voice way out. Do it. Do it, murder them. Someone comes over. Did you hear that? You. Oh, I know. Oh, I know I did that. Oh, what happened? Oh, I was focused on my work. <laughs> I promise I'll only use my voice acting for good. He said as he lied through his teeth. Ah, uh, let's see. What am I doing here? Um... Uh, oops, that is wheeled. I'm joining the gym tomorrow. I gotta get my groom back. I wanna have sex with my personal trainer. Okay, call me mañana.
I actually need to bring that back because this is a general weapons thing. Uh, dang it! Why'd I do that? No. Similar to a halberd. Do you know what a halberd is? Because, uh, pretty sure, pretty sure a naganata is not, not precisely the same as a halberd. It's, I guess it is, like, similarly styled, but I mean, like, come on. Like, come on. Uh, and that's a, that's a double wield. So I need a double needs to turn into two-handed, and then hybrid is fine. There we go. Uh, one-handed, 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 one-handed. This one's Fucking hybrid. Insane. Is that really as big as a Y hander though? I'm not familiar with that blade. Yeah, that's a heckin' blade, God bless. Okay, well I guess you get to go in the two-handed category. <laughs> that's freaking cool. <laughs> Getting close to the end. All right, cool. So, I mean, there's a good chunk of like starting weapons, at least in the like slashing, piercing categories, mainly. Uh, this is the kind of data entry that I'm just like, blech, about. It's not necessarily a bad thing, honestly. The, the data entry part of it is kind of whatever, but... It's just, uh... 
takes a lot of time and my brain doesn't like that. My brain doesn't like that. Piercing, piercing, and then... Actually, I think this really just has piercing. I don't think that those have... I mean, I guess they could technically be used for slashing. But... Yeah. Not... Not super effectively. <laughs> Slashing. Okay, cool. That's all of those actually done. Got all the wields and damage types in. Feels good, man. No home training whatsoever. Oh, I'm gonna die in just a minute if I'm not careful. Uh, Galaxy Nightclub, save there. I need to get a gosh dang food going on. So, galaxy. Do I have anything in the old lunchbox? Sure don't. I guess there's a 24 7 mart across the street. Never gonna go get one of those. Sure, let's get a BLT from the old uh, thing here, like three or four, because unfortunately you have to eat a crap ton of these to get any kind of food going, but there's nobody on to give food to me from places that Nerdman goes. Across the street once because I had a lapse in judgment. Here he goes down to the crosswalk like Nerdman usually does. My excuse is going to be that Nerdman. Um, Nerdman was kind of lost with hunger. That is a heckin' Tesla. Okay, guys. See you. Okay, bye. A 
pretty sure that's a player too. That's weird. Okay. Oh no, it's got to be the person from that uh, my vehicle there. Dang. Well, you win some, you lose some. Jeremy. Oh, yes, sir. Hello. Uh, we are closed. We are closing a little bit early. I just wanted to let you know so you didn't just wait out here, um, you know, for the entire time. Oh, um, thank you. I'm going to have a, we're going to have a bit of a staff meeting, so I'm not sure when I'll be seeing you, but I also didn't want you to wait here for too long, so I'm just letting you know, okay? Oh, well, thank you very much. Oh, we of course. We'll pack up and uh, get on the road. Of course. Thank you for something, Ben. And like I said, I'll keep in touch with you if anything comes up on our end, okay? Oh, uh, absolutely. Thank you. Perfect. There we go. All right, well, I did it. I realized just how insane the uh, the music racket is on this server. Music artists charge like thirty thousand dollars or something to do like an hour set for one of the shows, which is insane because some of these people book a <laughs> book a musical artist for you know an hour once or twice a week or more maybe a couple hours like that's it's freaking insane dude that's so much french laundry let's see coletta's over there cool. it's hard to know who's where man I tell you, imagine you get on a server and the people who work the jobs are basically the same. Like, always. Unless someone who's, someone just gets tired of their job and they're like, you know what? I'm done. I quit, right? And then they go and they find something else to do for a while. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that just be amazing? Then you could know. It's like, oh, you know what? I feel like going over to this place and you know same old person's there the huge wouldn't that be wild crazy world we would live in just absolutely insane Goodbye, officer. Have fun. Captain Ossifer. Yeah. I think much like Galaxy, I'm gonna go ahead and call it an early night. You know, I was I was thinking about just streaming on through, but boy howdy, it just... It's tough, bud. Uh, on, on Nerdman some days. Tis a wee bit tough on Nerdman some days. I really want to get him into a better server because then it'll be just more enjoyable to be on Nerdman. When I'm on here roleplaying and stuff, I can actually be doing some roleplay things rather than just, you know, sitting and working. Because, to be fair, let's be honest, I have more comfortable ways to work. Let us me be honest. I have more comfortable ways to work. So, 
working on Nerdman, it's not the worst, but it's also not the base. I enjoy it just in general because there's a little bit of reprieve randomly. Usually. I don't know what happened to NDRB. Honestly, a lot of the interaction has gone down since Marco got deported from the server. Or, you know, banned. Um, ever since ever since that whole debacle went down, just interaction on the server basically died that day. Like, nobody calls Nerdman anymore. It's, it's all just clicks that are hanging out, which really sucks. But even then, just a lot of the random interaction that Nerdman would get just seems to be gone, because there's... I don't know. It's like everything surrounding Pearls was just a huge interaction boost, and there just ain't people doing stuff no more. Which I know it's not just that one incident that's caused it, right? Like, that's that's adding a lot of importance to just one character's removal. It's just a, a very odd coincidence that after that point, interaction started to really dip. I wonder what it is that caused it really? Maybe that was indicative of a shift in the managerial portion of the server? And now that's not just afflicted pearls and its ownership, it's starting to like spread out and kind of corrupt the remainder of the server a little bit. People catching unjust hands because they can, sort of thing. Um, hmm. Hmm. My brain always asks these weird questions. That car was flying. And not in the usual way. In the unusual way. Okie doke. Well, there we go. Just put Nerdman. Um, I put away Nerdman's car, and now I'm gonna put away Nerdman. That's it. That's the whole thing. There's the Nerdman. Wow. Calm down. Eh, not this one. Go away. There we go. That's better. I like that one. Anywho. That's gonna be it for me, everybody. That's gonna be it for me. I might need to add some more air to this yoga ball I'm sitting on. I know this thing's not great for your hips because it concentrates a lot of oomph right to your hips, which is less than ideal. There's other things that you could or should sit on. But this is what I got for now. Gonna have to put a change to that day in the future. Just a little bit of a change. For now, though, it's what I got. It's what I'll deal with. But, um... Yep. Yeah. I mean, overall, I had a good day on Nerdman. I had a good time chilling, just hanging out, doing my thing. Um, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? Some days it's on, some days it's off. Today was just a kind of off day. But, hey, such is. We'll have other up days for Nerdman in the future. Until then, friends, thanks so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you have a good remainder of your day. Until the next one, take care of yourselves. Be good to each other. And you know it. Keep moving forward. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.